Hi everyone, it's Ian here and welcome to this crack math tutorial on how to express one number as a percentage of another. So just to let you know what that means, that means questions like express 30 as a percentage of 70. Okay, so you could picture that as this fraction like here, 30 over 70. What is this as a percentage? Now, there's two methods to do this. One very quick method, one slightly longer method. I'm actually going to go through the slightly longer method first because it's the method that uses direct proportion. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I like to talk about direct proportion because to me, direct proportion is the key to understanding your functional skills maths exams. So if you can master direct proportion, you're gonna give yourself the tools that you need to tackle like pretty much any maths question. So let's have a look at this question here. So first of all, I'm gonna look at question one and this says write 20 as a percentage of 50. Okay, so there we have it, 20 as a percentage of 50. As I said, I'm gonna tackle this method using direct proportion. So that means that we know that the percentages increase and decrease together with the amounts, okay? So let's say 50 is our 100% because we want to know what 20 is a percentage of 50. If 50 is everything, what percentage of everything is 20? So 50 equals 100%. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go down to find out what one is worth. If 50 is worth 100%, how much is one worth? So to do this, we go 50 divided by 50 gives us one, and we do 100 divided by 50 gives us two. So we can see here that one is worth 2%. Great. Now, if one is worth 2%, all we can do now is find out how many 20 is worth. So one times 20 gives us 20, two times 20 gives us 40. So we can see here that 20 is worth 40%. So there we know 20 is 40% of 50. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at question two. Here we have express 75 as a percentage of 150. So 150 equals our 100%. So we divide this by 150. So 100% divided by 150, I'm gonna use the calculator for this question. So 100 divided by 150 equals two thirds, which is also equal to 0 0.6 recurring. Okay, that means 0 0.6666666666. Okay, so we know that one is worth 0 0.6666666. We want 75, so we're gonna, one times 75 gives us 75. 0 0.66666 times 75 gives us, one second, 50. Ah, yeah, and that's correct. <laughs> 50. And yeah, that's correct because 75 is 50% of 150, which we sort of knew anyway because it's half. 75 is half of 150. 50% 50 of 150 is another way of saying half. So 75 is 50% 50 of 150. Okay, let's move on to question three. So here we go, write 40 as a percentage of 80. Okay, so again, this time 80 equals 100%. Now let's divide it by 80 to find out how much one is worth. So 100 divided by 80 equals 1.25. So we know in this situation, one has a value of 1.25%. Okay, that's great. And now, now that we know that one is worth 1.25%, we can times that by 40, okay, because 40 times one gives us the 40, and 1.25 times 40 equals 50. So again, we can see that 40 is 50% of 80. Okay, I want to try one more question here that's a little bit more complicated, because sometimes we get these values as decimals, okay? And so decimals are more complicated because they're, they're just harder to look at, they're harder to read, they're harder to comprehend. So this time what I'm gonna say is write down 1.29 as a percentage of 7.3. So 1.29 
as a percentage of 7.3. Okay, so this time we've got 7.3 equals 100%. So now I want to find the value of 1. Now remember, 7.3 divided by 7.3 gives us 1. So because this is directly proportional, we've got to divide by 7.3 on the other side as well. So 100% divided by 7.3. Now remember that means we do 100 first. So 100 divided by 7.3. And here we go. That equals 13.6986301. So that is our value of 1. Okay. If 7.3 is 100%, 1 is 13.6986301%. Okay. Now we want to find out how much 1.29 is as a percentage. So we know that 1 is worth 13.69%. So we multiply this by 1.29 and that equals 17.67. So we would know that 1.29 is 17.67% of 7.3. Okay, right. Let's continue with the easier method. This method simply relies on you turning the, the numbers into a fraction and then multiplying it by 100. So remember, when we were turning fractions into percentages, we do the top divided by the bottom and then we multiply them both by 100. So let's have a look at question one. So here we have 20 as a percentage of 50. So remember, it's 20 over 50 is the fraction. OK, so that's going to be 20 divided by 50 multiplied by 100. So that is 40 percent. OK, let's look at question two. So here we go. We've got 75 as a percentage of 150. So that's 75 out of 150. So 75 divided by 150 times 100. And that equals 50 percent. OK, next what we have is we've got our third method which is 40 as a percentage of 80. So here we go, 40 divided by 80 times 100, 50%. And then lastly, let's try the decimal question because it's the same principle. So we can write this as a fraction, 1.29 over 7.3, okay? And then we do the same thing, 1.29 divided by 7.3 multiplied by 100. There we go. And we've got the same answer again, 17.67%. OK, right. Before we go, I want us to quickly go over to crackmaths.co.uk just to have a look at a scenario question. So you'll recognise these first three questions that we've done from the practice section. If you need more practice, go there and practice those away. You can find the answers. You can mark your work. But if you want to have a go at these questions in context, because we know that that is often where we fall down, um, we're, we're going on to that now. So stay with us and let's have a look. So I know I've told you the easy method, but just for these questions here, I'm going to go over the, I'm going to do the direct proportion method as well, well, because I really believe that if you take the time to understand direct proportion, it opens up the whole of functional skills. So let's have a look at this question. Okay. So question one says in a class of 40 students, 10 are boys. What percentage of the class is boys? OK, so we know that we've got 40 students here. So 40 students is 100% of the class. So we can write down 40 equals 100%. Now what we can do is we can work out what percentage each of those students represents. So 40 divided by 40 gives us 1. So that's each student. And because it's direct proportion, we do 100 divided by 40 as well. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. 100 divided by 40. So each student is worth 2.5% of the class. OK, now we know that there are 10 male students. So we want 10 lots of that. So 10 times 1 gives us the 10 students. 10 times 2.5 gives us 25. So that means 10 students is worth 25% of the whole class. OK. Let's also just confirm that with the quick method. So the quick method would be 10 out of 40, which means 10 divided by 40 times 100 
equals 25%. Right, I hope that's been helpful. Make sure you go to crackmaps.co.uk to have a practice. And yeah, come back and see me for the next tutorial. Wonderful. See you soon. Bye.